Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can encrypt an entire drive or partition using the crypt setup program. So are you ready? Let's get started. So let's say that you have actually a drive like for example USB drive that contains some sensitive data and as you may know USB drive can be easily stolen or lost so if you want to keep your data secret or encrypted you can use this crypt setup program actually it uses what we call LOX LOX is a model installed by default in most Linux kernels so it's available actually in all the distribution in Linux so first thing first you have to install crypt setup so here as you can see i am under CentOS. so in order to install it you can use dash yum install crypt setup okay crypt setup so this is the name of the command line that we will be using but if you have a Debian based system, of course you can use apt install crypt setup also and you will find it that's for sure. Okay. So me I have already installed it. So let's see just the help of it. So dash dash help will give us all the arguments and options that we can use with this command line program okay so here you can see a brief description of the options that you can use with this program but here in this video i will show you just the basics one that you can get started with encryption your hard drive okay so let me clear that so first thing you have to know the name of your device that you want to encrypt so for that there are many ways but the most common one is to use the fdisk command so fdisk minus l will show you all the partitions that you have or the drives actually that you have so you can choose to encrypt entire drive or just a partition you can also use the command list block which is pretty easy pretty simple pretty fast so as you can see here i have two drives sda and sdp Actually, SDA is the drive, it's my hard disk that contains my system. And SDP is my USB drive, which has almost here, as you can see, 14.5 gigabytes. So for the demonstration, I will be using this USB drive to show you how to encrypt your entire USB drive, okay? So just remember the name of my partition here, it's SDP1, so as you can see, so first thing you have to initialize this partition okay now so the first thing to do is to initialize our partition so here it's pretty simple we have to type the command crypt setup okay locks format then our device name the full path to our device name which in this case is dev sdp1 so I will just hit dev stp1 that's all you don't have to provide the encryption algorithm or the length of your keys because we're stuck here with the defaults okay so we'll be using a pretty simple procedure in order to encrypt our partition here so I will hit enter and of course here there is a warning this will Override data in your drive or your partition. So, are you sure we have to type yes in capital letter? And now we have to provide the passphrase. So, the passphrase is the key that will be used to encrypt actually your entire partition. So, remember if you lose your passphrase, you will get nothing, your data are lost. So, just keep in mind that it's very important so and always choose a strong uh, passphrase so i'll type here a passphrase and i have to 
verify it to make sure it matched the first one. Et voilà, I guess now our partition is formatted or initialized. Okay. So after that, we have to create what we call a container or a device mapper for our partition here. So in order to do that, also the same command, but this time instead of logs format, I will be using the option or the action open. And always don't forget the capital for the O, open, okay? And also I have to provide here a name for my container, but you can call it whatever you want. For example, I will just call it, for example, USB. USB if you want okay so let's hit enter and see what's gonna happen of course it will be asking for the passphrase so I'll provide the same passphrase I entered before okay so now what has happened actually it has created a device mapper so let's verify that with list block command so you can see now I have another mapper or container called USB because I just name it USB but you can call it whatever you want and here the type is script because it's encrypted okay so now we have actually create a device mapper in order to do that you can also list what's in your dev mapper uh, folder and you see here USB mapper or device mapper has been created okay so now we have our partition we have to format it with a file system actually first thing we have to format it or initialize it actually but now we have to make a file system on it and for that let me first clear that we can use just make file system command and let's use the most common file system in Linux which is extended for and here you have to provide actually the name for your device mapper that has been created so remember the name is USB but full path is dev mapper USB et voila now I have to hit enter and now actually it's uh, formatting our USB partition with the extended for file system. So you have to wait. It depends on how big your partition is. Okay. So it will take some time. Okay. Now, as you can see, the file system has been created. So our partition is ready for receiving the data. But before do that, we have to mount it, okay? So let's create a directory in order to mount this uh, partition. So normally it should be inside the mount directory or you can put it whatever you want. And let's create this directory called, for example, encrypted data or just encrypt data. Okay, now we have to mount our partition, actually our device mapper here. Okay, so don't forget the name and we will mount it inside the newly created directory. Here we go. Okay, now we have mounted our uh, device mapper, so we can put whatever we want there and it will be encrypted. So I will just put simple file, I will call it, uh, this is secret data. And I will put it right in the mounted directory, which is encrypted data and let's put it inside the file 
and let's name this file secret file for example okay so now we are done let's list what is inside this mounted directory and of course there is our secret file and if we see if you want to see the content of this file it will be of course it will be of course uh, the phrase that we have created it's called secret file actually okay so as you can see here we have our data now you can put whatever you want inside this mounted directory and when you are finished all you have to do is just to close it so i'll use script setup also but this time with the option lock locks close and the name of our device mapper here okay which is in this case usb and we are done now all our data actually is encrypted so you can unplug your drive or your desk and put it in another device and you can get back your data okay which is encrypted but of course you have to provide your passphrase don't forget that so i will show you here this procedure very quickly in order to see how you can open it in another in another device or another server so here i get the message is still in use of course because i forget to unmount this directory here for example uh, yes you should first unmount it then you can use the close okay then you can use close option looks close okay you can see now that our device has been closed properly so let's say now you have plug it once again into inside another computer so in order to do that i'll show you how you can open it once again and view the file that we have been creating so first of all let me list block so you can see here i still have my partition here sdp1 so actually there is a command that you can see the status of this partition to see it's really encrypted or not so you can use script setup and this time you have to provide option locks damp then the name of your partition dev sdp1 so here you get a bunch of information actually here you can see the cipher name which is the algorithm used in order to encrypt this partition here and also the length of our keys that i'll be using and here is you can see the slot slot 0 1 2 3 2 7 actually those are the pass phrases so you can actually add up to eight passphrases to your partition here you can see only slot zero which is the passphrase number one which is has some data because we have just entered one passphrase okay so now that we have we are sure that our partition is encrypted so if you want to get back your data it's pretty easy always the same command but instead of locks them you have to open it and you have to provide a name for the container or the device mapper so you can call it whatever you want remember the first time we called it usb but i can just call it data for example if i want of course you have to provide the same passphrase here we go now we have opened our container here so all I have to do is just to uh, mount it in another partition so I will mount it in the same partition so remember if I go now to the list content of the mount encrypted 
there is nothing, no file, because we didn't mount it again. So let's mount our device once again. So mount the device mapper. But this case we have call it data. Okay, so let's mount it in the same directory, but you can mount it whatever you want. Here we go, now it's mounted. Let's see the content of the test directory here. Et voila, as you can see, we get the content of our encrypted data, which is secret file. So you can uh, cut it or read the content of this file to make sure that now we can read our file. Et voila, you can see it's secret data. So this is the procedure that you have to do if you unplug your USB key from the server and plug it in another server, I want to read the encrypted data. So you can see the procedure here is pretty simple, pretty easy. The most difficult part actually is at the beginning when you have to initialize the partition and also to make a file system on it. That's all. If you want to put data, you have to mount it to any directory you want, post your data. If you want to get back your data, you have to open it using the crypt setup. And after that, also mount it. Then you get back, you get back your data. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction how you can use the crypt setup command line in order to encrypt your partition or your disk. As always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.